welcome to IT Smart Training. Today we are going to learn how to install GC Video Conference Server on premises. If this video is informative, please like the video and subscribe this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date. Let's start the lab. So I'm writing down here the step by step guide uh, for installing a GCM video conference server. So if you want to install a GCM video conference server, you need to install uh, a Debian or a Ubuntu Linux in your on-premises server or a virtual machine. So, and then you have to map your public IP address with the domain name. You can buy your domain from your any public domain authority. Uh, this is your choice. After the mapping of a public IP address with the domain name, you have to check the uh, that uh, DNS is mapping properly or DNS records are propagated uh, properly or not with the dict command. If you run dict.smartlab.ddns.net, if you run this command, you can check that uh, the IP address will resolve. If IP address will resolve, then you can uh, assure that you or you can. Uh, assume that uh, the IP address and DNS map properly and after that you have to log in with uh, uh, root with SSH login so I am already logged in with root so now first I have to update uh, you just uh, go to apt update you just run apt update to update your repository update repository is done next you just run etc hostname to check the hostname so I'm just uh, telling you you just uh, configure it these things etc slash hosts So you must configure your loopback address with the domain name and you just comment it uh, the IPv6 information just comment it and saved it done next you have to check your do uh, DNS domain name DNS domain name is ddns.net and you just write the if statement and you can see the fqdn fully qualified domain name so now I just install a prerequisite service which is an transport HTTPS uh, for the Jitsi video conference server I'm just running it done next I have to add a repository uh, repository list uh, of to download the GSC video conference server repository is added you can check it from here if you press you just if you open this file you can see that this repository which we mentioned here this repository is added here you can add also manually also without this command done now I just add a public key of Jitsimi's video conference server add it next I just update the video conference server it's done next you just install the Jitsimi video conference server the command apt get y uh, is a uh, yes uh, it will not prompt you once and again and again to yes 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 and to install and then install gcmit enter it will download the gcmit video conference uh, component or applications from gcmit server and install automatically and configure You can see that the 
this video conference server is prompt is open uh, here you have to provide your host name smartlab dot ddns dot net make sure this is your host name because if you uh, provide uh, your host name wrongly then uh, your um, service will map wrongly so you just be careful with that enter here you have to you have uh, to assign a certificate so there is a two certificate option is uh, showing here one is uh, to generate the self sign certificate which is generated by system own and mapped with the gc video conference server another one is uh, you can use uh, your own certificate authority or you can download your certificate or any other third party certificate authority and mapped it here so i'm right for now i'm just generating my self sign certificate and after that I will install a let's encrypt certificate uh, for the certificate let's encrypt certificate authority uh, which will valid uh, till three months and we have to renew again for that you can see that the self sign certificate assigned successfully and GC will install successfully now you have to do one thing that is you have to restart nginx service and check the status is running now just run the script which is under usr share jcmate and then script and then the script name is install hyphen less and give hyphen sort dot sh you just run the script it will prompt your email address you can enter any of your email address is installing so in, in uh, let's not keep install successfully and you you, you got some error like this uh, in the script uh, the service command uh, not found in line number 79 if I open this script and go to the line number 79 in line number 79 you can see that here is mentioned service nginx reload so you just remember it service nginx reload I'm just exiting and here I provide service in Unix reload this command so here the error is service command not found enter you can see that the same error message is occurred because we have to service command is not is uh, under here so it is under sudo so if you run this you can see the service command is run successfully so for now for that reason uh, this uh, service command is failed so this is not a uh, issue or not, not a matter it will restart the service automatically uh, with this command after the installations of engine uh, uh, let's encrypt so after that I just reboot the server once before the reboot I just uh, configure last configuration part that is etc gc video bridge sip communicator properties I just open this file 
and paste these two line net harvest local address net harvest public address the, if you if it is configured uh, if you are uh, running behind the net okay so I'm just paste it and just uh, put uh, my private IP address standard 23 and here we need to provide our public IP address I am not uh, uh, showing my public IP address uh, here so I am just pause my video and uh, configure the public IP address and save it then I will resume it it's saved after saving this saving this uh, we have to run another command that is this at first just restart the video bridge 2 service this is for conference restart the gcofo service before uh, gcofo service restarted you just check the status it is properly started or not it's started next restart the gcofo service restart it and check the status of Gcofo service it's running and just restart the Prosody service it's restarted now you just go here and type https colon double slash um, smartlab dot ddns dot net it will search in it's my jersey video conference service ready if you go here you can see that my certificate is valid certificate okay and valid till 24 July 2020 it's done now I start a video conference demo just go button press You have to allow the, your uh, audio and microphone and turn off my video so my video conference is started you just share the link your uh, clients friends students and they can join in this meeting and by default we have this kind of option over here so this is my Jitsi video conference installations lastly I just show you one more thing uh, in the system CTL restart posody I just uh, restarted the posody and don't check the status over here it's I have to check the status So you can see that prosody service is running but here this error is showing error binding encrypted port SSL TLS uh, certificate not found and port by not bind 5281 port number so here you uh, find this kind of error message so I am solving this error in the next video please stay tuned in my next video uh, to solution of this error so if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and thank you thank you for watching